Good morning, everybody, and how are you on this wonderful sunny Friday morning? It's the weekend, and I know so many people are so excited. The weekend is coming, and they're going to be able to lay in bed a bit and enjoy the scenery, enjoy the warm mattresses, enjoy hugging and spending time with family and friends that are living with you. So that's going to be an amazing morning. So I'm looking forward to that. And I everybody will be enjoying themselves. So have a little, you know, fun today. I take remember it's Friday. It's a day to enjoy yourself and just do some great things for yourself. And that's what is important. So, you know, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that we get a little bit of time today to be wonderful with self. So let's see how we're going. So good morning. Hi, Azim. How are you this morning? It's another beautiful morning and having fun looking at the day, getting ready to set up a wonderful day for all of us, a day full of enjoyment and and amazing things. So how are you this morning? Thanks for coming. And you know, it's the morning blessings. So how did you greet yourself this morning? What did you say to self this morning? What did you tell yourself when you woke up this morning? Hi, Rosha, how are you this morning? It's so important to get up and be ready for the day. So I'm having a vitamin C because I talk so much <laughs> that my throat maybe can be sore in the morning. So today, we are going to talk about our seventh day of gratitude. Good morning, Christina. Gratitude is one of those wonderful things that we know we have. So, welcome to the morning show. Welcome to the morning blessings. I am happy to see you guys here today. So, how did you greet yourself this morning? I know it's a funny thing to do, to look in the mirror and say to yourself, hello, how you are? It is a really strange thing for people to do. People don't greet themselves in the morning at all. I'm buttoning my shirt. This one is going down. So some people don't get up in the morning and greet themselves. They get up in the morning and they oh, I'm so tired. But here at the morning blessings, we ask you to greet yourself when you wake up in the morning. Say hello to the wonderful you. Just greet. I go, here you are. Good morning. Here you are. I missed you last night. I was sound asleep. Now I see my reflection. I'm greeting myself. No. It's a really good habit. I found out I was listening to a program yesterday. And one of the women said that is something people should do every day. Say good morning to the amazing and wonderful you. It's, the, it's greeting and accepting yourself and loving that wonderful self of yours. So... Try that. If you haven't done it, try it. For the least you will get from it is a good laugh. You'll be laughing because suddenly you'll say to yourself, oh, good morning. And you go, this is funny. Why am I doing this? But it's, it's to wake you up. Nobody says good morning with a wave better than you can say it to yourself. So this is what I want you to do. Be involved in being greeting self first thing in the morning. When you have decided I am the best, I am great. I can greet myself in the morning. No one can take that from you. Nobody can say anything to you about who you are after that. So say good morning to self. Say every day, I am amazing. Good morning, you look stunning. I love your smile. I love your eye. And you know, just say something that will tickle you a bit, a little bit. I am grateful for, I, I, I can breathe. Here is, here is Rosha. Telling her she can breathe. So guys, your, my mantra for today was that I put, I am purposely taking actions to better my life. I am. I am. Watch what follows I am. Your mantra should say I am. Whatever. Don't be one of the people that will say to themselves, I am tired. I am exhausted. Then guess what? That's your prophecy. That is you saying to self, you are tired, you are exhausted, you are this, you are that. Say to self, I am feeling amazing. Hi, Donato. I am feeling great. 
I am feeling awesome. Say that to self. Like right now, you know, when you press that little heart button, you're sending a heart out to me, but in that purpose and doing that, you're feeling great and you're sending a heart out to yourself. So what we give out, we get back. What we do this with, and we send it like this to, towards somebody, you notice the wheel doesn't turn in one direction. For the wheel of life to turn, it has to go like that, so it comes back to you. You send it out, it comes back to you. That is what it is. So I am purposely looking for ways to improve my life. I am purposely taking actions to improve my life. I am purposely looking for ways to raise my bar. I did this today like this. I want to do it like this tomorrow. Good morning, Yoko. I want to raise the bar so it's right up here every day. And I looked at people of opulent. When I saw, I told you about the show I saw from Dubai. And the, 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 the owner of these magnificent, magnificent things they were building is talking to a real estate seller to sell apartments in the United States. And he said, we are constantly looking to raise the bar. And I and you with our little eyes that are not equipped would look at it and think, what more does he want to do with this building? Everything is so unique. Every knob on the cupboard was so well designed. But there they are. They have reached the pinnacle, yet they're raising the bar. So who are we not to try? Who are we not to raise our bar to improve our lives? We only have this one life. So take, make sure your morning blessing reminds you of what you must do today. Whatever work you do, every day, raise your level, raise your bar. Get up there. Raise it higher and higher. This is what you have to do. What? Push. Push a little bit stronger. Go at it a little bit harder. Put yourself out there, say something, talk about it, feel invigorated, and be gratitude that you are here at this time. Be grateful that you are alive and breathing in this world right now at this moment. Do not be grateful with comparison. I, we talked about that and I need to do it because I'm still hearing it from others. I am still hearing, people are telling me, I am so grateful I can do this. I am so grateful this person can and I can. And no, 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 no. That is not gratitude. That is called comparison. We didn't come into the world to compare ourselves with others. We came into the world to be who we came to be and to the best, be the best version of that. So I am taking, purposeful steps, purposeful steps to become the best I can at what I do. So do you. You need to take purposeful, purposeful step to be the person that you're meant to be. If you don't plan it, you won't get it. If you don't take those steps, you won't feel it. You need to know, here I am. So today's gratitude is gratitude develops our personality. Day seven. Day 7 of 31 Days of Gratitude. Being grateful develops a better personality. You know that. You have done it. You have known the days that you feel grateful, you feel invincible. It, it, make, it is life-changing. The more grateful you are, the more life-changing it becomes. You just feel that energy flowing through you. You become more optimistic and more you get happier. Happier, you are less materialistic because you come to the point you really don't care. I am so happy. I am going to enjoy what I have in front of me. At the moment, I'm going to take it and run with it. You become less materialistic. Do you think you would? But that is, you, you, you do acknowledge them, but they are not what is driving you. You, are, you have developed a new you. Gratitude will make you feel different. If you practice it, do it every day. You will become more spiritual. You will feel better about being alive. You will feel more special. You'll feel less crushed. You'll feel less envious. You will feel less painful, hurt. You will, your self-esteem will get better. Your confidence will develop. This is what it's going to do. You have to realize the more gratitude you spread out into the world, and the magic happens. When you write it down, 
then when you begin just saying it for no reason at all, that is when things are really rolling. When you start saying, I am grateful, after you've written down your five things or three things you're grateful for every day, whether you do it in the morning or you do it in the night, after that, you will start noticing like it's just coming out of you. I am grateful I am here. I am grateful I am walking. I'm grateful I was able to see this. I'm grateful I was able to hear this. Everything will be making you burst with great gratitude. Your self-esteem will be make you you know, feel better. You're going to be doing that thing that, you know, that makes us more optimistic. You're going to believe you can. You're going to trust yourself. You're going to trust your intuition. You're going to increase your level of standing. You're going to lower your blood pressure. You're going to lower your cholesterol level because the functioning in your body is going better. Your diabetes numbers will drop. They will because you're so into being in the moment being grateful right now even aches and pains that you were looking at and thinking about because now you don't have time for them they're going to move i don't know where they're going but one thing i know for sure they're going to say it's this is not a good host i i don't get any attention i am squeezing her i'm rubbing her i'm making her pain and she just not today you know, when the pain starts, you say, today is a gratitude day. I have nothing to be grateful to you about. You are not helping me at all. You're holding me back. Not today. You talk to those things like that. You talk to the negative thoughts like that. No, 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 no. I have no space in my head for you. You are preventing me from being the magnificent me. When you're blooming with gratitude, you, they will come. They don't like to be displaced. The pains, the anger, all of that will surface even more. And you might say, Tessa Marie, I'm being gratitude now for seven days and I'm getting so despondent. I am not feeling it. That is when you have to push more on it. That is when you have to push more gratitude out into the world, out to yourself, out to your sight, out to whatever it is that is in your life. Now is the time to push it. The time you feel the most... Um, sad and not, nothing to be grateful for that is the time you have to look up you know there is a, 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 a one of the psalms in the bible that says i lift up my head onto the hills from whence came up my help lift up your head and say listen show me that the gratitude i'm putting out there is coming back to me we all believe in a god somewhere yet the god that we have is deep inside of us so look up there and say, I will raise my head up to the hills that when come up my help. My help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not fall and let my foot stumble and fall. Believe and take your gratitude and say, this is not working. What do I do? Give yourself a reason to show some passion. Prayer works with passion. Gratitude. You don't, you're not going to walk around. I am so grateful I can walk today. I am so grateful. Would you help you? If you were gratitude and the person is going, I'm grateful, you know, I'm really grateful. I'm so grateful. Would you, if you were gratitude, would you stimulate this person? Of course not. If somebody comes to you and they go, okay, Zim, what do you think of life? What, would you have an answer for that? You wouldn't, you would be like, really? What am I supposed to do with this? Or that person goes to you and they say, why don't I do? I am feel, I'm not feeling so good today. Right there. You, you just look at them and go, really? Wake up. You are alive. So that is what gratitude has to do. You have to feel gratitude. You have to make gratitude know you are there. Hello, gratitude. Good morning. How are you? I am so grateful. I am standing here at this moment and say it with a smile. I am so grateful I am here. I am so grateful I have a comfortable shirt on. I am so grateful. I really love how I feel today. Put it there. Don't do, I am grateful. Pastor Marie said we should be grateful. No, I didn't say that. I said, I am grateful. Tessa Marie said it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I am grateful. We are in lockdown. I am grateful. Whoa! That's what it is. This is what it has to be. Be grateful. Let gratitude fill you. I am so grateful that you guys are here this morning. I am so grateful for each and every one of you that pressed that button 
I am so grateful that Christina is driving to work and she pressed the button so she can listen to me on her drive to work and sometimes she does not get all of it because when she passes a talk somewhere where there is no signal she loses it. I am so grateful Ali and Azim and these people that are coming from India, Pakistan and all these places and China and Japan just to listen to me. They are making a choice. So get going. You came here to be inspired. You came here to be stimulated. You came here to learn something new. Take it. Find your nugget. Find your pearl. Find your diamond. And don't be grateful. If we with weakness. Gratitude does not understand wimps. Gratitude understands people that believe they have reasons to be grateful and they're going to be successful. Gratitude wants you to match with it. Gratitude does not walk slow. Gratitude is saying, let's go, let's do this. Gratitude only believes I can. Gratitude doesn't understand maybe. It doesn't understand try. It understands let's do it. The more you push at the door, the weaker it gets. The more you push against the door, the weaker it gets. When the door will not open, crawl through the window. So gratitude has to be there. You must push it. You cannot do it without energy. When, if there is only one of you on the life, I don't care. I'm, each of you, I'm talking to each of you singularly. Each of you, I'm talking to each of you in a singular way. It's you. It's you, Rosha. It's you, Donato. It's you, Christina. It's you, Yoko. It's you, all of you, Azim, Ali. It's all of you one at a time. So listen to the words and ask yourself the question, am I giving gratitude a chance? It's day seven. Are you beginning to feel a little better? If not, then wake up, shake it out, scream at gratitude, tell gratitude, let me feel you. I am in coming to you. Raise your head up on the hills where you know your help comes from. That's where we do, when we pray, we do this. So call on me and say, listen, I want to feel this gratitude. I want to understand what the difference gratitude makes in my life. I want to know you. It's like seeking wisdom. They tell us six wisdom. They refer to wisdom as if it's something tangible, something you can hold in your hand. That's, what, that's how they talk about wisdom. Gratitude, they talk about it, they say the more gracious you are, the better it will be. The more gratitude you are, grateful you are, the more optimistic you will be. The more grateful you are, the more wealthy you will be. It's true. I am standing here to tell you, the more grateful you are, the more things work out for you. Where there is a block and you throw gratitude at it, amazing things happen. When there is a block in your life, and you take a bundle of gratitude and you say, here you are, have some gratitude. It will shiver. Blockages do not like gratitude. Things that are negative does not sit well with gratitude. Give us some love, press the button, give us some heart. Because we know what gratitude can do. Come on guys, send it out. Be grateful, send a heart out there. You love it, you're receiving it, send it out. Let it come back to you. When you do this, it does that. The waves of the ocean comes out, it goes back in, it gives tide, it takes tide. Tide, tide rises and tide falls. Everything in life has an action and a reaction. The more gratitude you send out to the world, the more gratitude you will receive. You might receive it in ways you never know you could receive it. So, no, so look at it. Make sure your gratitude is working for you. Because gratitude every day, five minutes of being grateful is like, it will take 10, add 10 years to your life. Five minutes of being grateful adds 10 years of a healthy living person. Trust me on that. 10 years it adds to your life. Five minutes every day of being grateful. Actually seeking reasons and purposes to be grateful. What are you grateful for? Name one thing you are grateful for right in this minute. Say it out loud to yourself. Or say the louder you say it, the better it is because it goes out into the ethers of the world and it just comes back to you. So I am grateful I am standing here today. I am grateful I can stand for an hour, two hours without moving. 
I am grateful I can move when I'm talking to you. I'm grateful I can release my shoulder. I'm grateful I'm able to do all of this for you. And it also feeds me. When I serve you, I am serving me. I am not keeping the information that, I, that is downloaded to me every day. Every day, this information I bring out to you is downloaded into me. I do not keep it. Think about it. If you get new information every day and you do not throw it out there, how is there room for new information to come to you? You have to understand that. Let me see what you guys are saying. Rosha said, gratitude only believes I can. Great. <laughs> Thank you, Rosha. It does. Gratitude only believes we can. Good. <laughs> Fantastic Friday. Everybody. Don't, um, you have to look at what it does. Say something to you. Okay, well, thank you. Say something, guys. Say something. I want to invite Udin and, and his invitation. I am unstoppable. Say something about what gratitude is doing for you. You know, say something. Talk to yourself and say what has gratitude done for you today. Look at being grateful. Have you noticed anything wonderful happening to you? Have you seen a change? Are you thinking less about the bad things and more about the good things? Take a look at that. Because this is what gratitude will do for you. You will see more of the wonderful things that are happening for you. You will see all the small things. All of a sudden, with gratitude, you're going to see the tiny things that you didn't, you didn't see that, that requires you saying, I'm grateful for that. You are grateful that you were brushing your teeth this morning. You are grateful that you poured the water to drink this morning. You are grateful that you had that cup of wonderful coffee this morning, loaded with cream. So be grateful for all of these things. Be grateful you held the cup and you felt the warmth of the, of the water or the coffee in your hand. Just take that in for a moment. Be grateful you can feel. Your five senses are working. You can see. You can hear and you can touch and then you can smell and you can taste. So this is the season of scents. May is the season of scents and floral and fauna. All the roses and stuff are going to be blooming. When you're walking on the street, you will see lots of flowers. The fragrances are coming out. You will, under, you will smell that. And when you do that, pause and say, I am so grateful, so very grateful. I can smell these fragrances today. Just think about that. If you are blessed and you are fortunate to be at the ocean and you can smell the smell of the ocean, or you are blessed to stand at your seat standing at the ocean, give a gratitude. You can feel the, 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 the mist of the salt water on your face, or you can just feel the air of coming around you. Come on, pause. And say, that breeze is so nice. I'm so grateful for this breeze. You see, it doesn't, you have to put passion in it. Where there is passion, there becomes miracles. Where there is passion, there becomes solutions. Passion pushes solutions. Passion makes things happen. Passion just brings everything up to the top. So where you put passion, you're going to get solutions. And this is what you have to do with your morning blessings. Take your gratitude today. Find that pearl, find that diamond, and walk with it. Somebody has a question. What are you most grateful for in your life? For me, I am most grateful for the very breath of life itself. That is one thing I am grateful for, the very breath of having a life today. We don't know how long this day is going to last for us, for any one of us. But when I woke up this morning, I was, I'm absolutely grateful for the breath of life in me today. I think a lot, Ros, Rosha said it, I don't know what today or yesterday, and that is something I've said for years. With not, not all the material things, not, and not any of that, just not anybody, just to have the breath for today and to go out there and to do something different or do something better than I did yesterday. Have the breath of life. Be grateful. Sometimes you call something, somebody to do something 
and, and just using that voice. Just think about it. It takes absolutely no effort from you and you don't know. We don't act, actually give thanks and gratitude towards those senses. You know when we, we, we realize they're actually there is when they don't work. Isn't that sad? Just think about it. We are not giving gratitude to our senses. But when one of them doesn't work, that's when we notice we even had them. It's like your heart. It's only when it's broken, we, we realize, well, you know, what, what is beating that blood? What is making these millions of gallons of blood flow through me every day? What is doing that? We never say, I'm so grateful my heart is functioning. I'm so grateful my lungs is clear and I can breathe. I am so grateful I can smell my sinuses work. I'm so grateful my throat allows me to speak endlessly. We don't do that until they're broken. And that's when we miss it. So that is where gratitude begins. It begins through self. Only when you're grateful for what is functioning within you, can you take that gratitude and bring it out of you. If you're not grateful for your beating heart, how can you be grateful for somebody else's beating heart? Think about it. So this is the question you have to ask yourself. What am I grateful for today? What can I be grateful for today? What part of me I need to give some gratitude? What part of me I need to give gratitude covered with love? Or love covered with gratitude? What part of me? Because gratitude makes you more optimistic. Gratitude makes changes in your life that could lengthen your life. So what part of you are you going to be grateful for? What part of you you're going to cover with gratitude and a sprinkling of love like fairy dust? So send in your light and joy on this wonderful morning. I hope you enjoyed it, your morning blessing and gratitude, and you were able to take some of it with you today. And uh, let me see, I looked at all of the things already, but let me just check. And that question, Donato, was really nice because it allowed me to go a little further. Somebody said, does oh, follow your bliss. Hello. I hope you're here. Does gratitude help us change a tough marriage too when two partners are not staying together? Gratitude will not help you change a tough marriage. It will not help you change it. It will help you to better cope with the situation you're in. We cannot make somebody stay where they're not supposed to be. We cannot control other people's decisions on their lives. We cannot pray to God to change somebody, to make them better than they are, or to make them into the image and likeness of us. They were created by someone who decided they were going to be created in the image and likeness of them, their creator, whoever that is. The only person that you can change is you. The only person you can control is you. The only person that you can control the behavior of is you. That is where the um, pillar of prosperity come in. That is the emotional um, pillar of that is the pillar of emotional prosperity. You can change your emotion towards that in that thing, but we cannot change a person in a marriage. We cannot make the marriage better by trying to change them. You have to become the change you're looking for. What is your what is the part of that person? You said, does gratitude help us change? A tough marriage to when two partners are not staying together. Gratitude will give you the tools to cope because there is something that's in you that you can be grateful for. This is why gratitude begins with you. I am grateful that I had the ability to fall in love with that person then. As hard as it is, that time was good. If there were children in that, you have to say, I'm grateful I have these wonderful children from this marriage. I'm grateful I remember the love, the bliss when we met. And that will never leave you. And you can draw on that to sustain you. Well, I know what it is to be in love. It's funny somebody can say this. It's, I know what it is to be loved. No. So a marriage and a death in a way similar, if it's broken. So I have memories, my husband is no longer here, he's dead, 
So I can look at it and I go, I am so grateful I had, I know what it was to be in, for somebody to love me and to love me explicitly, whole and entire, and these were his words. So I know what it is to be cherished and loved. I, so I can, I can bask in that. I can pull it up. If I feel unloved, I can use that to make me feel a lot better. So even in the midst of all the pain and torment of the marriage, that person can say, I remember the blissful days and with a smile. And, and you can just go on because you had the opportunity to have these days of bliss in this marriage. And you cannot go and say, see the faults in that person and want them corrected. This is not your creation. The only person that you can correct is yourself and, and you have to work on you. Then if there are children in the marriage, you can look and say, you know what? Look at these beautiful children we put on this earth together. You don't have to say that to them. You just say it to you. You stand in the mirror and have conversation with self in the mirror. Look at you and say, I am a beautiful person, man or woman, whoever you're referring to. I am a handsome man. I have a good heart. If you're a woman, I am beautiful, I am stunning, I'm capable, I'm smart, I'm wise, I have a job, I can feed myself, I can take care of these children, I am an amazing mom, I am a great cook. Things for you. So that's what you can. Gratitude can allow you to cope better. That's all it will do. Gratitude will allow you to make different choices, better, more informed choices better more thoughtful choices that's what gratitude will do for you gratitude will make you feel like okay it is broken but i am not broken and that's what you have to remember so when you are facing a situation such as this do that right it's this situation is broken but me standing here i'm not broken i'm so grateful i'm not broken i'm so grateful i am fine I'm so grateful I feel marvelous. I'm so grateful I can think. I'm so grateful my mind is clearing, like when the clouds move and the sun comes up. This is how you have to feel. I hope this helps you. And if it, you need more, DM me. If you need more, follow me. If you need more, come to, more, to come tonight. And if you have the time, I don't know where you're from. I think you said you're from India. But I come here to serve you. And you are here because you were supposed to hear me. You are here because it's important for you to learn how to get this information. So I hope this information has helped. You will get out of it. Whatever is aching you, whatever is pulling at your heart, whatever is stopping you from being the magnificent you, you, with constant question and seeking, looking for advice in the right place, and thinking about yourself and if they're children, this, and working on making that better, you will be better too. So don't worry about it. Take lessons where you get them, good lessons, and fix yourself. Very early in my marriage, I found out quarreling with my husband was getting, it was going to get me nowhere. It was going to do two things. It would cause my, me to say something I would regret, it would cause my blood pressure to go up and you, and then I knew he was in death. So I knew if I said what I had to say once, I need not repeat it again. And then hours later, he would come and apologize and say, you know what, Tess, I, I, I feel really bad. I shouldn't have, I, I'm so sorry. Um, and that happened and I, that was my thing. I sat and I said, this is what's going on. I don't like it. And I walk away. Because if at the time when I first got married, you had walked into this house and you saw me quarreling, you would have called the men in the white uniforms to take this crazy woman away because this man sitting there cannot be the cause of her anger. He's so calm, cool, and, and like a cucumber, like he just stepped out of vogue. I am listening to music, I'm reading my book, and I'm watching TV all at the same time. And there I am flapping my wings like a crazy woman. So when I realized that, I came to my senses and I stopped it. And then for that, it was the most blissful marriage I, I know I had. So sending you guys light and joy. Let me see. Thank you very much. It really here. I hope I do. Each time you ask a question, I hope it, I do. Gratitude only believes I can. Thanks, Rosha. Bye, guys. Everybody, thanks for coming. 
and thank you, follow your bliss. You should let, tell me what your name is because I know your name is not follow your bliss 13. <laughs> so if you get a chance, write your name and let me see what your name is and then I will remember your name and your handle also. So take care guys and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember to just be a little bit more grateful today. And when you're being grateful, add some passion to it. And five minutes of gratitude can make wonders. Pallavi. Pallavi. Okay, I'll try to. Pallavi. I'll try to remember that. So take care and talk to you later. Bye, guys.